Hi everyone, welcome back. I've got a video for you today on the Ciate Glitter Flips. Um, I wasn't going to do a video on these, which is why these have been out for like two years and <laughs> I've never done one until now. Um, but my husband um, has wanted to buy me an early Valentine's Day present and he saw in the UK um, that the Money Saving Expert website had got like a code on. I'm dropping them all over the place. And the code was where it was like over 100 quid's worth of them. That's like six of them and they were just on for like 25 pounds but it was only the first 200 purchases or something and he just thought it'd be so so cool he just really lo loves sort of glittery glossy lip looks so yeah he thought they'd be really fun to try i've got the brightest one on in the bunch today which is one of the holographics i got four regular glitter flips and two of the holographics um, and the one I've, I've got on, on my lips now is the brightest one, Love Sick, which I think is a really fun and fab colour for Valentine's. I've also got a, an engagement party coming up next weekend and um, it's imperative that everyone wears all black. So I just, I don't usually wear all black. So I just thought this would be a really fun and bright pop of a lip because she, it's a really fun couple and a really like, I think it's going to be a fun atmosphere, so I don't think this is going to be out of place. But I messaged my, be my best friend to double check, but I think I'm going to wear this to the engagement party. Um, so yeah, this is one I've already got on my lips, and I'm going to swatch these and do lip swatches for you and show you like the glitter release thing. I will say straight off the bat that when you first press your lips together and it does release the glitter, it does look really cool, but I don't think it necessarily stays that glittery because when I look at photos of my lips before I release the glitter, it kind of looks the same as it does now. And um, also if you put a gloss on top, because they are matte, if you put a gloss on top, uh, the, you can't really see the glitter. I don't know about the holographic ones, we'll need to test that, but I've tested one of the regular ones and you can't see the glitter once you've put a gloss on. So if you want to see how these apply, how they swatch on and look on a fair skin tone, uh, if you want to know about what I think about the product and what they look like with gloss on as well, then just keep watching. So they each come in this lovely cardboard packaging um, and as you can see the holographic one is like a holographic packaging as well. It is quite difficult in the packaging because of the holographic finish for you to see the colour but this is the shade Lovesick. It's in sort of a, sta a standard clear tube um, but the caps do have this gorgeous silver glitter in them. So this one's already on my lips so obviously I don't need to show you that but I'm going to swatch it on my... Um, back of my hand and I'm going to swatch them all next to each other so that one is the shade lovesick this is probably the least wearable out of all of them in the set bundle I got um, but I still feel for me that's wearable I would wear it I love it this shade's obviously a hot pink and it has like um, blue and pink not blue sorry I think purple and pink glitters going through it so there's no silver or gold in the glitters in this particular shade it says on the box here that it's a comfortable smooth texture and I would agree with that. I'm really surprised how easy it was to apply for such a bold colour and for the fact that it's containing glitter um, but I had no trouble with it at all. It says here, um, glitter lips made easy with Ciate London's Glitter Flip now featuring four holographic glitter shades. So I only have two of the holographics. Um, I don't have the other two. Simply press lips together and watch as metallic matte liquid lipstick magically transform into multi-dimensional holographic glitter lips with none of the mess and a fraction of the time of, of a traditional glitter look. So I don't know what time or process would be for a traditional glitter look. I can only assume they mean like getting glitter and pressing it onto your lips. Um, but I can imagine this to be easier than that. And it is completely transfer proof. But as a kiss test absolutely no liquid lipstick and no glitter at all on the back of my hand just absolutely crazy yeah absolutely crazy this is nothing like I would think to buy for myself I would just consider myself this to be like a little bit too fun and not functional enough and I suppose I might consider myself a little bit too old for this sort of product so I'm really really pleased that he brought me these to play with and um, it says the stay put formula is non-drying and totally comfortable the, the, the first to market formula will last all night with no need for retouching. So 
I cannot speak to say if this is going to last all night in this video yet, but when I do wear one of these next weekend at the engagement party, whichever one it is, I'll put it in the description box for you then and I'll tell you what the wear time is like because I've only had this on for like, I don't know, 20 minutes. So yeah, this is Love Sick and... Yeah, let's have a look at the next holographic one. I thought I'd show you how each of the two formulas I've got applies. So this is the uh, holographic formula and the shade Crush. But I'm not going to be able to talk while I'm doing this. Now, I don't think I'm doing this formula justice because um, the way I'm not the best at applying liquid lipstick, but um, it is very smooth. It's quite, it's the texture is almost sort of like a little bit whipped, a little bit moussey. Really, really nice. So let's just let that one dry down. And as you can see for the shade, you can't see any glitters at all. I mean, the Love Sick shade in the holographic, it looks metallic straight off the bat. This crush shade doesn't look metallic at all. You, it just looks like a regular liquid lipstick. You can't tell anything different or unique about it. So um, that would be really, really interesting to watch the glitters come out of this one. So there's the swatch of the crush shade next to Love Sick. And I thought I'd show you a picture of the holographic packaging up close it's probably going to send my camera all weird and then the regular glitter flip packaging looks like that so they do look different so you won't accidentally get a holographic finished one or anything like that so this is nearly dry now I'm excited okay this it has had a full two minutes and it feels dry so let's press them together and see what happens I really this is the first time I haven't tried this shade at all I'm sorry that I can't zoom you in any further, but I just don't have that sort of fancy setup. Wow. This shade is really beautiful. It, it sort of, it, it's really sort of like dusty pink. I don't know why it's called Crush. It's um a dusty rose colour. I wouldn't say it's, it resembles any sort of crushed fruit I've ever seen. This is really, really wearable and really, really beautiful. I would even wear this in the day, even though it's got holographic glitter in, apparently. I don't think my ca um, my camera... <laughs> it looks so crazy. Like, I don't think my camera's going to pick um, necessarily pick that up. So I'm just going to use the torch on my camera to see if that's going to pick up any more of the sparkle for you. So I don't know if that's picked it up a little bit more, um, but this is um, glitter of, I'd say, a little bit of um, purple, like a lilac-y colour, just like, you know, in the other sh Lovesick shade. But there is, I think, silver, a bit of silver in that one as well. Very unique, very gorgeous. If anyone's interested, by the way, I'm taking this off with Clinique Take the Day Off, just because it's what I have lying about and it's not sensitive enough for my eyes. So I might as well just use it on my lips. I really love that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply a gloss on the top of this formula to show you what it looks like and describe how it feels. But I will say I did put a gloss over the top of one of the other formulas, um, the Undress shade, earlier today, and it looked nice. It didn't go goopy and funny. It didn't start bleeding all over my face like sometimes happens with, li li with liquid lipsticks. This is just a Rimmel stay glossy gloss so that's what it looks like with a gloss over the top I wouldn't necessarily say that these are improved with a gloss I think they're just so sort of 
they give you such a luscious look with the glitter that a gloss really isn't necessary and doesn't really add much to it. I must say I just absolutely love with this crush colour. Um, I've got a coffee here because I'm going to do a coffee test on the next one. I really just don't want to even have to take this off, but I will because I've got four more to try on for you. I've been wearing the gloss for about 10 minutes and it's not doing anything weird to it. They're so comfortable. It's something really strange <laughs> to note though about these is that the first thing I did when they came through the door is I tried the lightest shade on when she's undressed. And as soon as I took it off, even though it's really light, which you'll see in a minute when I put it on, my 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 lips were stained bright pink underneath them so i don't know what chemical or weirdness they have in them to do that but just just something to note so i've been wandering around the house for about half an hour making every excuse not to take this off because i just love it so much and um, now my coffee's nearly cold but we're still going to do a coffee test on the next one one thing to note, another thing to note, is that once you apply a gloss, so as soon as the lip colour becomes wet again and is no longer dry, the glitter disappears. So it's the same with the holographic formula and had the same thing with the undress shade earlier. So just to show you up close, as you can see, there's no glitter showing, which is exactly how it looks before you do the press thing, before, you know, before it dries. So to me, that's a positive thing, because to me, that makes it more versatile. So if you were traveling and you just wanted to take um, one or two liquid lipsticks and you didn't want a gloss, uh, you didn't want um, and a glitter effect one night, just sling a gloss on. Or like for me, when I go to this engagement party, I'll put on this lovely glittery lip. When I get there, if I feel like I look like an absolute fool, and it's just not fitting in at all and I should never have made that decision I just sling a gloss on my face and Bob jobs are good and the, the glitter just disappears and it's no longer an issue so yeah that's great and um, as you can see I hope you can see there's no bleeding or anything which I really appreciate because I do really love um, matte uh, lipsticks but sometimes when you just need a bit of hit of a hydration and you put a gloss on over the top of them they can often bleed if the formula doesn't suit it and this formula is fine with it so um, I'm just really impressed with it so let's take this one off and try on the next colour I don't know if the camera's picking that up really but in person my lips look so stained but in a really good way so they just look really sort of like like I've just had my lips done, like I've just had filler put in them. They look so rosy, so flushed and healthy. And they just feel so sort of like comfortable and moisturised. I don't, I don't know how that's happening. So um, yeah, I'm going to show you um, the application of the next shade because it's the non-holographic glitter. But after that, I won't. you won't be sitting through the application of each individual one because that was just, you know, I just want to show you how the two you can see how the two uh, formulas go on. So this is the glitter flip, not the holographic. And I'm, this is the one I'm most excited about because this is such a gorgeous spring summer colour. I, when I knew what shades I was getting, I looked it up at other people's YouTube videos. And as soon as I saw people putting this on their face, I was like, yes, 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 I'm so excited. So this is the shade Trouble and I've swatched it right there. And yeah, let's get this on my face quickly. Okay, now I wouldn't describe this shade as patchy, but it's more patchier than the other two. As I say, I wouldn't say it was patchy, but it just compared to the two, you could maybe argue, but I think it's got a slight pastel -y quality to it in, in the shade, and that's probably why. So as you can see here, it doesn't have any glitter showing, so I'm just going to give that the full one to two minutes dry down, and then we'll release the glitter and do a coffee drinking test on this whilst it's matte as well. God, these glittery lips are just making me feel so sassy. <laughs> sorry about the sass. I can't help it. Sorry, not sorry. But what I found interesting is I've tried really hard to resist the urge to press my lips together to check if because it's all something that you automatically do to make sure that you're you know see if it's dry yet. So I've resisted the urge to do that, and we're going to give it a go now. 
I will say this shade is not that flattering on the old teeth. They don't really look as white as I usually like them to look. Um, okay, so let's see how this one goes. Wow. That is stunning. Look at that. That would be such a lovely shade to wear on holiday. It's gold. The glitter is straight up gold. Gorgeous. I don't know if it's just the shape of my lips, but as I press them together, the majority of the glitter seems to come out here. But I don't mind that. It's actually great because it, it accentuates the lips and sort of makes them look fuller. The fact that it's it's doing it in that way. So yeah, that is the shade Trouble. One thing I really did want to test for you, which I've and for me, which I've done now, is I didn't leave it to one to two minutes only. The instructions say after one to two minutes it's dry, release the glitter. I left it for about 15 to 20 minutes just to see if leaving it any longer would, would change the fact, you know, would stop the glitter coming out if you wanted to maybe do it later. Like if you were going out and you wanted to like leave the house or go to like your local pub or whatever with just the colour and then when you got to the club you press your lips together and be like oh yeah I've been hiding this secret glitter on in my lips and now there you go here it is for the rest for the rest of the night so yeah that is the colour shade trouble and um I would say that one is the least wearable I've got of the uh, non-holographic the last three are really beautiful sort of nudie colours so I'm really excited as well to get these ones on. I nearly forgot my coffee drinking test. Okay so I've wiped off the side there because I had some when I got the gloss on and so there's nothing on the side of that cup and transfer resistant again. I can see an ever so slight mark on that one. Huh it's interesting the others didn't have that. So let's just drink the coffee. Yeah, they seriously do function like a regular liquid lipstick, except they're just, you know, cooler. <laughs> so that's the coffee drinking test. So this is the shade Whisper, and this is the most sort of cool tone shade. I think this would sort of be your Ari Ariana Grande sort of a shade. So I'll just give that a swatch next to the Coralie Peach. It's that shade there. There is a shade I've got lighter than this called it Undressed, um, but it is very light. So um, I've just gone with this one because I feel like it does actually suit my eye look and I do need to leave the house in a moment. So this is a shade Whisper and when I get back we'll release the glitter from this baby. As in real life, this is real life, I'm windswept, I've been outside and I've already released the glitter on this one because my daughter was dying to see it in action. So this Whisper colour has a kind of weird green glitter I am I've got to admit I'm quite disappointed with this one because the shade is so wearable and gorgeous but with the glitter it just becomes not wearable at all for me personally so yeah this the, the shade of glitter they've gone with means that I'll only be able to wear this look when I want like a bold going out look so I'm a bit disappointed about that but um but I do like the shade of the lipstick I just don't like the the green glitter so yeah, maybe something for Halloween. I'm not a sort of green lips sort of person or green on your lips in any way. So, yeah, but this is the shade Whisper. And let's go on to the next shade. So this is the shade Undressed. Uh, I think you'd have to be careful not to get that butthole mouth situation with this shade. It is very fair. I mean, I'm very fair, but I think if you were medium or light, you would really struggle to pull this shade off. And but the glitter in it hopefully isn't green, which would be good. So let's um, release this one. Okay, the glitter in this one is really fairy-like. It's really gorgeous. This is definitely a wearable shade. The fact the glitter maybe makes it a little bit even more wearable because it gives you, your lips a bit more dimension rather than that conceal it out sort of look. The glitter in this is again the silver and purple so yeah 
I quite like this one. I had it on for quite a while earlier today. It was the first one I put on my face when it came and um, when they came in the in the post. And yeah, quite like the shade. So we'll move on to the last one. Oh, actually, I should show you the swatch of that. That's undressed there next to Whisper. I will say when I was out, um, all of these held up really well. I left them on the back of my hand to see how they'd get on. It was only the Whisper shade that did sort of fade. And I've touched that up for the sake of showing you the colour. Um, and Lovesick as well it has faded a little bit on the back of my hand. But other than that, they've held up really well just there. So this is the last shade Chaos and it's a lovely warm brown. I think for this one, it's going to be really wearable on a lot of skin tones. And um, it's quite a flattering one. It doesn't suit my eye look whatsoever, but, you know, that doesn't matter. So I'm really interested to see, because this, this is the only one where I'm looking through the side of the package and I really can't see what the shade of glitter is on this one. So I'm really, really curious to see what the glitter is going to come out of. But yeah, I really like that shade. Again, it went on smooth. Every single one of them have gone on smooth and every single one of them I've had no problem with the actual opacity of the base colour itself, um, you know, excluding the glitter. The only one that could even be argued, some people might say fine patchy, is trouble. Um, but you just have to be careful how you apply it. I do really like that and it's a beautiful gold glitter. I wish that more of them had that gold glitter. In fact, I absolutely wish that there was any other colour but green glitter in the Whisper shade. So let's give this one a couple of minutes and see how we get on with the glitter flip. So this is the last shade here, um, Chaos, next to the other shade, just for comparison. And let's have a look at this glitter. That's lovely, it's gold. It's like an oldie gold, it's almost green because it's an old gold but it's not green so yeah i really really do like that okay so just in summary then i like the formula of these i like the finish of them i can't come on like i say yet on the wear time but i'll leave some comments in the description box after i've worn um one of them for you know a good day my favorite shades are crush and chaos so chaos that i have now crush the holographic one the one I was expecting to be my favourite shade, um, Trouble, is lovely, it's fine, it'd say it was the middle of the road in regards to these six shades. Um, I quite like Undressed, which I'm surprised about because I don't usually go for those really concealery nude lip looks. And Lovesick I was nervous for because I just thought that's going to be way too bright, but actually it's like really sort of like Jessica Rabbit-esque, although she, you know, she wears red lipstick. It's just gorgeous and I really, really love it. And the one shade that I just don't think I'll get very much use out of, if any, is Whisper, uh, which is a shame because the shade's beautiful. In fact, I might put, use this and then just put a gloss on top. Just so I can get used to it because I really really love that shade I just don't like the green glitter so yeah um I hope you enjoyed the review and it was helpful and useful give me a thumbs up if you feel it was and well done if you've made it to the end of this because it's a bit of a long one today um subscribe if you're not already and, and hit that notification bell because then it'll tell you when I'm going to upload another video because I'm not really doing it on a regular schedule at the minute and um so let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these if you think I should pick up any other shades what are your thoughts on it and um, I hope everyone's well. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye.